The hoi hoi. A while ago, I made a series of videos on Reaper for game audio to help people start using Reaper for their game audio workflows, and it makes me very happy to see people joining the Reaper cult. And since I've made those videos, I've enhanced my workflow even further, making it insanely fast. I can get high quality sounds done in a super, super short period of time compared to just two years ago. It almost feels like cheating, but don't tell my clients that. And to give you an idea of my new workflows, I want to show you some tools for Reaper, some free and some paid, that have made me insanely fast at sound design. Are these required? Absolutely not. These are just some tools that have helped me a lot and will probably help you a lot too. So let's get into these four tools that have drastically enhanced my Reaper workflow. And before we continue, yes, there are download links for each of these in the description below. The first tool is NVK Folder Items. On its face, this tool might seem kind kind of unnecessary, but as a video game sound designer, it's insanely useful. Basically, Folder Items takes all of our audio and MIDI data inside of folders in Reaper and consolidates them into what are known as Folder Items, which are these little rectangles you see at the top of my project here. It allows you to add fades to all of your items, move them all around together, and basically edit them all at the same time. But most importantly, it allows us to render out each of these items super quickly and batch rename them all at once. For example, here are five variations on the same sound effect, all within one folder. You can see at the top here, each of them has their own folder item representing them here. Instead of doing things the old way, which involved making export regions for each of these files and then naming them individually, I can take those five variations, rename them in sequential order all at once, then just export them with the proper name and numbering automatically. This is super powerful and useful. And as your projects grow to making thousands of sounds per game, this becomes even more invaluable and will speed you up more and more. The second tool is Global Sampler by BirdBird. Bird. This might be the most life-changing tool I've come across for Reaper so far. I use it every single day and I have no idea how I lived without it beforehand. Best of all, it's free. Basically, it's a plugin that records your audio output in the background at all times. Again, it sounds kind of pointless, but actually it's insanely useful. To demonstrate, I am going to throw Global Sampler onto the master track of this project. And now you'll see this bar at the top, always recording in the background at all times. If a sound plays, so long as it's routed through the master track, it's going to record it in the background up top here. What I can do now is click and drag and highlight a region of this recording from the top bar and drag it down into my project. While while this tool is incredibly useful for working with effects and baking them in, it becomes even more of a godsend when working with synthesizers. Being able to use synths in your sound design workflow is a huge, huge superpower, but they can be such a pain in the butt to work with sometimes. They become even more inconvenient when you're just generating ideas and plopping them down into your DAW to manipulate further. So with this global sampler, instead of just playing MIDI and then rendering out that MIDI and manipulating things from there, we can just play a sound using our synths knowing that things are being recorded in the background, take those files, make those sound effects, and manipulate them further from there. It makes working with synthesizers so fast and easy, and considering it's free, I recommend this to basically everybody. And special thanks to Alex Johnson, audio lead at Heart Machine, for telling me about this one. The third tool is Content Navigator by LKC Tools. This one is ultra simple, but ultra helpful. As you work on bigger and bigger sound design projects, the amount of sounds you end up making is pretty crazy especially when it comes to variation and iteration. And because you'll likely be making a lot of sub-projects for each of your sounds, your project is gonna get very, very bloated very, very fast. You can use this content navigator bar to search for tracks, hide them, jump to them, and generally make your life a lot easier. And the fourth tool is a variation on the NVK folder items tool called LKC Render Blocks. Render Blocks has a similar but different enough workflow to folder items that it's still worth mentioning here. Some people prefer folder items, some people prefer render blocks, it's all up to personal preference. Try them both out and see what you prefer. And as a heads up, if you get the paid version of render blocks, there's a free version too that has less features, you also get Content Navigator included in with that. But basically, render blocks allows you to choose a bunch of items in your project all at once, turn them into a block, and render that out as an individual file. Considering most of the sound effects you ever make will end up being made of multiple layers, render Blocks makes it much, much easier to take all of those layers, package them up, know which sounds that you're 
working with and then exporting them. The render blocks and content navigator bundle are really, really helpful. And again, LKC Tools has free versions of these as well. So be sure to give them a shot try them out and see what you like. All right, that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. And if you haven't been through it already, be sure to go through my Reaper for game audio playlist as well. It'll get you up and running with Reaper insanely fast, especially if you want to use it to join the Reaper game audio cult.